Okay. Situation 2. Let's have situation 2. Refer to the plane thrust as shown. Given yung P, uh, dimensions A and B and S. So given lahat dito ang dimensions. So first question, how much is the reaction in kilonewtons at A? Then the reaction at B. Uh, the third question, find P so that the reaction at A will be equal to 25 kilonewtons. So, bali reactions lang yung mga hinahanap dito. No? Wala tayong sinasolve na internal forces at the trust. Lagyan natin ng values. Ilagay ko lang yung values. Then, unahin ko yung part 1 uh, and part 2. So, reaction at A, it is a roller support. So, it is perpendicular to the plane of the roller. Tawag ko siyang R sub A. While at B, we have here two, uh, two reactions. No? Two unknowns uh, in general. We have vertical. Vertical reaction at P and horizontal reaction at P. But what we want here is the reaction at B. The term is reaction only. Wala siyang binanggit na vertical reaction. Wala siyang binanggit na horizontal reaction at P. So we will use the total reaction dapat. Yung isasolve natin is the total reaction. Okay? So for me, unahin ko lang si B. Para uh, unahin ko si B pagkuha sa reaction. Kasi based on this orientation of the load, madaling mag-moment sa A. Because these loads here are wind loads. Uh, these are perpendicular to the member. Bali, yung moment arm nila, yung moment arm nila, uh, tatlo, is ito. Ito na yung moment arm natin. Hindi na natin kailangan pang i-resolve into components, ito mga forces na yan. Okay? So, summation of moment at A equals 0. Again, 10 kilonewtons, perpendicular yan, kaya moment arm natin is 2.5. And uh, that will cause clockwise moment about A. 10 times 2.5. Now, 10 kilonewtons, again, perpendicular, the moment arm is dalawang 2.5, about A. And that's still clockwise. 10 plus 5 meters. The other one, 10 kilonewtons, tatlong 2.5 naman yung kanyang moment arm. 10 times at at long 2.5 is 7.5. Then, yung B sub B, yung vertical component of B, will cause um, counterclockwise. The total moment arm, ilan to lahat? Um, 8 to dito, no? 8, then 8 then sa kabila. So, total moment arm is 16. Then, equal to 0. BH will not cause moment at A. Wala siyang moment arm, no? Direct. Yung direction niya, papunta kay A. Kaya, it will not cause moment. Ito, resultant yan, ha? That will not. Bale, uh, kung ginamit natin yung comp components, huwag mo munang isipin si resultant. This, uh, this is the resultant of the two components of the forces. So, kuha natin si B sa B, 9.375 kilonewtons. Again, that's not yet the answer for part uh, part 2 or number 5. Ang answer dyan must be total reaction. Ngayon, to solve for A, mag-summation of forces vertical na lang ako. To solve for uh, the reaction at A, kunin, ko na, uh, kunin muna natin yung angle. Angle of inclination theta. Okay? So, to solve for that, meron akong dimension dito sa right triangle na to. This right triangle. I will have here cosine of theta. Adjacent is 8. That's 2 plus 2 plus 4. And hypotenuse natin is apat na 2.5. Apat na 2.5. Kuha muna natin yung angle theta. 36.87 degrees. Alright? So, yung angle theta, if this is from the horizontal, take note, these forces are perpendicular to this member. So, the angle theta, if we look at here, okay, kunin natin yung resultat. Resultat ng tatlo. Since equal yung values nila and equidistant sila, the resultant of the three forces will be acting at the center. Pwede mong gamitan ng Varignan Suram, no? Pag moment ka dito. Yung resultant dyan dadaan talaga sa kitna kasi equal distance with equal magnitudes. So the resultant is just the sum of the three given forces. So that's 30. Tatlong 10 kN, you have 30 kN. Anong gamit ng theta, sir? So again, the theta here from the horizontal uh, to this inclined length. Ngayon, 
um, itong force na yan is perpendicular to that incline length. So, the theta will be transferred from the vertical. Okay? So, by this, pwede na tayong mag-summation of forces vertical. Huwag mo nang isipin itong tatlong forces. Ginawa na natin siyang one single force. Summation of forces vertical equal to zero. We have RA plus V sub B upward. Then minus the component of this R downward. So nasa kanya yung angle theta. So that must be cosine. 30 cosine theta. Ganito dapat. Then equal to zero. Again, wag mo na tong isipin kasi kinun, um, ginawa natin silang one single load which is the resultant. With V sub B known, it is 9.375 and theta known, 36.87. Kuha natin si RA. So, this is the answer for part 1. For part 2 naman, again, R sub B yung gusto natin. Kukunin muna natin si B sub H. Obviously, si B sub H can be solved by summation of forces horizontal. So, we have the horizontal component of R. That is R sine of theta or 30 sine of theta. Then minus BH. Minus BH equal to 0. Again, theta is 36.87 degrees. Kuha natin si BH. And the total resultant at B or the resultant reaction at B is square root of BH squared plus B sub B, B, sub B squared. Of course, these are perpendicular to each other. So Pythagorean theorem yung. Uh, approach that then. So we have um, <clears throat> twenty point two nine five kilonewtons. Ano double ko pala yung dali lang. Twenty point two nine five kilonewtons. <clears throat> Binali ko lang. Tinanggal ko lang yung isang part dito. <clears throat> okay. Now, actually, there's another way. There's another way to this para um, siguro mapadali. No? And sometimes, in other problems, pwede mapadali. Uh, kasi sa number 6, mas madali pag alam natin yung technique na to. Okay? Now, um, listen to this part. Another possible solution here. I will use the principle of transmissibility of a force. Itong total force natin, the total force can be transmitted to anywhere. Anywhere as long dadaan siya sa line of action niya. Ito yung line of action ng force na, uh, na ito. No? So you can put the components of the force anywhere. Pwede dito. Pwede dito. Now for me, dito ko sa ilalagay. Kasi known yung distance natin dyan. Okay? So i-transmit ko siya like this one. Wag, mo, uh, wag na natin isipin yung mga forces. Kinonvert na natin sila into one single force. Anong gamit nito? Anong gamit nito pag transmit ko yung force? As long as dadaan siya, dadaan siya sa line of action. Dito ko ilalagay ang components nila. Components ng force. You have here the vertical. Ito naman ang horizontal. Okay? O, paano yan sir? Bakit ganun yung ginawa mo? Kasi pag ginawa ko to, I will locate this distance. Tawagin ko yung X. Pag ginawa ko yan, I can directly solve for RA. Moment ako kay B. Diba? Basta alam lang natin yung distance. Yung distance siya from here to here. Kasi kung makuha natin na, uh, makuha natin yung X yan, moment ako kay B, kuha natin si A, itong horizontal component will not cause moment at B kasi matatanggal yan sa equation. Yung magkakos ng uh, moment at B is this one. The vertical component. And that's the use of transmissibility of force. It transfer mo yung force uh, sa specific point kung saan yung isang component matatanggal mo sa equation mo para maging simple. Okay? So, I will solve first x knowing it is a right triangle. Itong shaded part natin. Kasi perpendicular yung force na yan. Okay? So, how do we solve that right triangle? I mean this value of x. So, the x is the hypotenuse of this right triangle kasi 90 degrees yan dyan. This is our adjacent. So, we will use cosine of theta. Theta is known. Equal to adjacent katabi ng um, angle 
Dalawang 2.5 divided by x. And you have here the x 6.25 meters. Okay? So, kung no na yung x, I can now take moment at p. Summation of moment at p equals 0. So, we have ra times total of 16 clockwise. Okay? Then, the vertical component of this is 30 cosine theta. 30 cosine theta. Its moment arm is from here to point B. And that will cause counterclockwise. Kaya minus. So minus 30 cosine theta. Moment arm must be a total of 16 minus X. Tang uh, tanggalin natin si X. 6.25. Then equal to 0. So napasimpin natin yung solution. Uh, using the resultant and transmissibility of a force. Kuha natin the same value of RA. Part 1. Okay? And summation of forces vertical, kuha natin si B sa B. Dito nakuha, uh, inuna natin na si A. So you have a, uh, R sub A 14.625 plus B sub B. Then minus the vertical component. 30 cosine of theta equals 0. Kuha natin si B sub B. Alright, after that, kuha din natin si B sub H. Summation of forces horizontal. So, si B sub H is the horizontal component of the total load. Alright, 30 sine of theta. That's the horizontal component. The same nito kanina. Minus B sub H equals 0. Then, the same pattern. Solving for the uh, resultant reaction at the pin. Kuha natin yung uh, the same result. 20.295 kilo itats. A double pala yun. Alright, 20.295 kilo itats. Now, part 6. Alright, sa part 6, ito magagamit na natin yung concept na to. Yung ginawa natin here. Kasi sa part 6, ito yung tanong niya. I mean part 3. Find P. Ano na yung P natin? Find P so that the reaction at A will be equal to 25 kN. Binigyan tayo ng reaction at A. Si P naman yung hahanapin. Take note, yung P natin is yung isa-isa dito. The resultant is 3P. Tatlong P. Na? RA is 25. Binigay, uh, binigyan tayo ng RA. RA is 25 kN. Okay? So, kung alam natin yan, uh, unlike kanina, no, kung uh, sa first solution natin, puunahin talaga natin yung puhanin si uh, B sa B, no? Hindi natin agad ma-express si R sub A kay P. Kasi nag-moment tayo kay A. So, medyo mahaba yung magiging solution mo pag hindi natin to ginamit. Unlike dito, pag-moment tayo sa B, then we have RA times 16, where RA is 25, R8 and 16. Then, the vertical component of this, again, that's um, 3P na yung ating force kasi anong si P? 3P cosine of theta. Moment arm is 16 minus X about B. And counterclockwise, 16 minus X. Again, this will not cause moment about B. So, ito na lang. Equals to 0. Nakuha natin si P. P is 17.094 kilo de